Hey Libra, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Wednesday, February 17th. Let's see what's going on with Libra. The heart of your reading, we have the Ace of Wands. New passion, new desire, inspiration to move in a new direction. What's the challenge for Libra? Tower in reverse. You've just experienced some sort of intervention in your life. You were headed down a certain path and something came in and stopped you cold. Like, nope, not going down that path. I have a new start, a new beginning. I need to wrap up that cycle. That was the, um, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck there. Show me focus, a new wish, Nine of Cups in reverse. Mm, you're, you're, you're coming up with a new wish. A wish representing like hope, what, what your desire is. So you have mm, some inspiration, the start. This is like, okay, where do I want that to lead me? What is the, the goal that I'm aiming toward? They're giving me also that you are allowing yourself to believe that you deserve to be happy. You're, you're working on allowing yourself to believe that. Show me the recent past for Libra. Nine of Swords. Grief, doubt, shame. It's like hitting your limit mentally. Show me the energy of Libra's environment. How is spirit using Libra's environment to nudge them in the right direction? Hierophant. Hierophant represents institutions. You might be in some sort of an institution right now. If that doesn't resonate for you, um, it also represents very long-term stability. Either way, the energy is quite positive for you. It represents healing and growth. Definitely healing. Three of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're going through some deep emotional healing right now as well. In the near future, we have justice. Um, this can be making amends, um, righting wrongs. It also represents things coming into balance. And I get a sense that good things are on the way for you. You may or may not realize it. And I don't know if I'm going to if I'm going to describe this well or do it this energy justice. That's why I giggled a little because the, the way I thought about verbalizing what they're expressing to me is I don't know if I'm going to do this justice. No pun intended describing the justice card. Um, that 
you're you're going to be able to bring something in balance in a way that um, this is this is long overdue. Like you've um, hold on, let me. It's like they're giving me someone's entire life as a general concept, and I just don't know how to describe an entire life in like a few seconds. Um, it feels like you've been through a lot, that you've, you've done a lot of good and you've done some bad things that you regret. And I think what, what they want me to zero in on and focus on here is that the good that you've done is going to be repaid to you. And that's the what I was getting at with the you might not realize what's coming. Um, I don't think you know the amount of good karma that's headed toward you right now. You deserve, you deserve some positive things right now. And they're coming. Show me surprise energy for Libra. Five of Cups reversed, Eight of Swords. You're going to be able to um, release the things that are painful. The things that have um, kept you locked in a cycle. The things that you felt like you could never get out of your head. It's gonna take some effort the Five of Cups requires effort to emotionally process things. The fact that it's showing up reversed here, partnered with this energy of what you're releasing, what you're, what you are um, addressing, internalizing, coming to terms with, and then moving on from, is whatever it was that used to stick in your head, something that you just couldn't get out of your head bad memories, I think. Show me hopes and fears. Chariot in reverse. You sense the potential to really charge ahead here and receive some momentum from the universe, and you are hoping against hope that you don't miss that current like the current represented by like a, a raging river if 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 positive momentum from the universe could be described as a raging river you want to jump in and let it carry you and the concern here is um maybe i won't jump in or maybe i'll jump in and i'll get tossed to the side to the to the bank of the river and i won't actually receive the momentum the Taking that analogy a step further, say you're in a boat, the, bo the boat has to be pointed in the right direction for you to move with the current, otherwise you, you could just like get toppled over, and that's part of it as well, that, that, that kind of energy. With um, this opportunity to really make progress on something in, in your life, you want to take that opportunity. Show me the end result. Ten of Cups. Come on, Libra. The, you're doing a lot of work here emotionally, and it's going to pay off. If you don't believe you deserve to be happy right now, and or you don't know what to wish for, you're going to figure it out, and you're going to achieve it. That's your ideal emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. Let's get you some advice. Judgment in reverse. Don't be too hard on yourself. You are your own worst critic right now, and it's it, it runs the risk of working against you. Yes, you should see things through a balanced lens. Um, don't let yourself off the hook if there are issues that you need to address. However, um, 
be careful being too hard on yourself because I think you, you have the tendency to do so and Spirit's encouraging you to um, go easier on yourself, especially through this experience. Libra, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.